So guys, are you ready to be amazed? Are you ready to see the most amazing thing of your life? Kishmawal, look at that beauty. The first glance at the amazing Taj Mahal. And it took well over uh, 22 years to construct this beautiful structure. And it took over 20,000 workers. So you can imagine over 20,000 workers, over 500 animals like horses and bulls, everything. And the amazing thing is that this mausoleum, from it doesn't matter from which side you come from, it has exactly the same views. But it's such a work of symmetry, it's almost done to perfection. That's the world wonder. But there is one small deficit that I will tell you about. And uh, just keep watching the video to the end and I'll show you what the small deficit was. So guys, top of the morning. Top of the morning, Kish my world. It's your boy Kish, Kish my world. And I'm coming to you direct from the beautiful Taj Mahal right here in India. You guys, man, this is my third world wonder ever seen. And I'm super excited to be here and just to uh, experience this place with me. Remember we were in uh, Chichen Itza in Mexico. We were in the Colosseum in Rome. And now we are coming to this beautiful, beautiful third world wonder. So we are taking it one wonder at a time. Kish my world, like, share, subscribe to this channel for all the new members. And let's enjoy this beautiful structure. So here is the beautiful entrance to Taj Mahal. So this is not the actual thing actually. We are about to go in. And you can see there's a lot of people just entering, taking photos, looking nice and beautiful. And yeah, this is the entrance to Taj Mahal. So let's go in guys and experience this awesome place. It's a lot full of rich history, culture, and uh, it's just such a blessing to be here. So I can already see the beautiful structure from where I stand. But you guys are gonna have to wait a bit until you subscribe to the channel and watch this intro. Guys, are you ready to be amazed? Are you ready to see the most amazing thing of your life? Kish my world. Look at that beauty. The first glance at the amazing Taj Mahal in the background. You can see it's really, really a lot of people. It's a Saturday here, so probably that's why. But you see everywhere, you can see a lot, a lot of people. The beautiful structure in the background just looking so nice. Beautiful. Yeah, there's people taking photos and just enjoying their day. And wow, actually, it's a lot of uh, locals also, so it's really nice to see local tourism being encouraged. But uh, also a bunch of tourists here and there. But the majority is the locals. So yeah, let's, go, let's go and see the Taj Mahal. This is the beautiful Taj Mahal. An amazing world wonder in the heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm walking into people's photos. No, no, not Jamaica. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's go and tour inside when I give you a small history of this beautiful structure and how it is just to be here. Top of the morning. Look at the masses, massive, massive crowds. So let's just walk in and enjoy this place. So, guys, welcome to Taj Mahal. And uh, let me just give you a small history about this place. This thing is actually a world wonder and being a world wonder which is amongst the new world wonders which was voted about a few years ago because the old one old world wonders were all destroyed you know or were getting old so this is part of the new world wonders and it's in agra here in india and this is a very nice actually it's more of a fortress so it's nothing like a religious symbol or it's not like a political symbol or anything like many other world wonders we know but it is actually a tomb and this tomb was created by the emperor of India at the time. This is about the 1600s, like 1600 and something. I'm gonna write it for you down there. That is when the structure was built and it took well over, I think maybe I should walk like this so you guys can see it, you know. And it took well over uh, 22 years to construct this beautiful structure and it took over 20,000 workers. So you can imagine over 20,000 workers, over 500 animals like horses, and bulls everything so it's really really a, a huge investment and at that point at that point in time it costed about 39 million uh, 
uh, rupees, uh, Indian rupees. And if you take that in today's money, it's about one billion, you know, one billion uh, dollars, you know. So it's really, really a work of art. And this is why it is so su such a beautiful and magic splendor. And you know, it's a funny thing that this, let me tell you why it was built. I told you it's not a religious thing, it's just a tomb. So basically it's like a place where somebody came to just be buried. And who was buried here? It was the emperor's queen. And that's because the emperor here at that point, he had uh, three wives, so he was a polygamous man. So you know, it's, uh, he was a religious uh, Islamic ruler. And he had uh, three wives. And uh, this tomb here was constructed, let me just show you how it looks again was constructed in memory of the middle wife who is the one who passed on during childbirth. So it's so unfortunate she died, she died during childbirth. But you might wonder why all this structure because of just the third wife. Well, let me tell you. The reason that actually he constructed this beautiful structure for the third wife is because it was his favorite wife. That's the wife he actually loved and the one he chose. He proposed to her like himself. He decided to go on the knees and just be able to propose to her and that is why that was his favorite wife and you might ask what happened to the other two wives well the other two wives were not really romantic wives but they were political marriages and one of them was from uh, afghanistan and the other one was from uh, pakistan so they just did like a political marriage just to you know to seal deals and just make sure that everything is okay but this wife here, the third wife, the second wife, is actually the one that she wanted and he chose. Let's just get away from the buses. Sorry. Yeah, so the second wife is the one that he chose. And that's why he loved that wife the most. And both him and their wife, they were very, very, very good, you know, lovers. They really loved each other. And uh, the reason that she actually felt so sad when she died, and he even decided to construct this amazing structure, is just in memory of her. And I'm so excited to go inside and just show you how it looks. So let me tell you a bit more history about this love affair. So the emperor at the time of this region, he really loved this wife and she was actually originally from here. She was born in here, here in Agra, where we are right now, Agra in India. But her roots initially, she has uh, roots from Iran. So she was Persian also. So why he loved her so much is because they had a romantic affair and more so this woman who was the, the second wife, hello, <laughs> who was the second wife actually gave birth to 14 children for him. So the king, the emperor had 14 kids and all of them came just by the same woman, you can imagine. But it's unfortunate that only six of the 14 kids managed to stay alive. So it was four boys and two girls. And now here comes the juice of the story of why he decided to build this temple. And that is because as soon, let me just show you the views once again. And that is because when she was having her 14th child, yes, the 14th child, she was 39 years old. There was a war that emerged. As I was saying, there was a war that emerged. And so the queen and the king, they were always together. So she decided to join the emperor in the war and she was pregnant at this point. So when the war was happening, everything happened. She unfortunately came into labor. And when she got into labor, she was forced to be rushed back to Agra to the hospital. And then she gave birth, but uh, actually just 14 days after her birth, she passed on and she didn't make it. And so the king was super, super sad because now he lost his bride, you know, they were lovers like this one's next to me here, you know. <laughs> So he was super sad and he decided, you know what, I'm just going to build her a very, very monumental tomb where she can be resting forever. And this is why he built the beautiful Taj Mahal, the one you can see behind me. So let's keep moving and I'll tell you some more history because it's a bit of a lot of people here. Generally, there's people everywhere, but we're going to find the best spots where you can get more history. Yes. So guys, as we continue with the tour, let me just tell you another thing about this wonder. He built this beautiful Taj Mahal, as I told you, in memory of his wife. But he built it here specifically because if you remember, we were in a place called Agra Fort. That is where they used to live with the family, with the kids and everything. But if you overlook, like uh, we were there and we saw the view of the Taj Mahal from there. He wanted that when he wakes up in the morning, he can see a beautiful, beautiful view of the Taj Mahal from his house, his residence. So that is why he built it in this specific place. 
so that whenever he wake up, woke up in the morning, he would still remember his beautiful wife and he would just continue to mourn her and celebrate her every day. So that's why it was such yeah. an amazing location for him to be exactly here. And also in the backside, if you go, there's a river and in that river, there's a very nice and plain reflection of the Taj Mahal that just melts on the river. So this was a very, very nice place for him to construct it. So here's the actual Taj Mahal and uh, let's just go inside. It's not allowed to film inside. That's why I'm doing the vlog from here. But you can be able to just see like on the outskirts on the walls, you need to wear protective clothes so that you can go and see some more. Okay guys, let me take you in and then we'll see Taj Mahal. Okay guys, I need to tell you one more fact about the Taj Mahal. As you can see, this structure is very, very beautiful and is actually very symmetrical from one end to one end. But there's only one thing that's not a bit, actually that's out of symmetry. And if you see, it's this pole here and this other pole over here. They're actually not leaning at 90 degrees. You know how if they're coming to the ground, they're supposed to be 90 degrees. But these ones are not 90 degrees. And the reason is to because the emperor or the designer who created this he wanted in case of anything an earthquake in case of you know water water floods or anything in case this thing had to fall down they would not fall inward and destroy the actual Taj Mahal but they would fall to the side so that's why they are actually leaning one degree away so if you have if you're good in geometry you can tell that this side and this side they are leaning one degree away from the actual structure so this is one unique thing about this place and it's a really nice work of uh, engineering and also this place there is very high the highest point is 81 meters high and the two towers are uh, 61 meters high each so but the highest point the tip and exactly straight forward that's where the queen was buried that is actually 81 meters in height and you can see how magnificent it looks all the way all this like 81 and this two are 61 and before they had actually staircases here where you could climb up to the top but now they've closed it off so it's not possible to go there so uh, i think i'm about to go and see touch it i just feel how it is touch mahal man first time so amazing okay guys so before i actually get into the main structure it's just what to tell you how much uh, it costs to come here as a foreigner it costs 1100 and if you pay an extra 200 krona you can even go into the higher monument so i decided to do the whole thing and it's called like higher value ticket holder so it's 1300 and you get to see the entire thing if you are local i think it costs 50 rupees so it's really cheap and if you are from the neighboring countries like afghanistan bangladesh all these countries is a half price of us who are from away from here so yeah let's go and see the place now inside so excited to actually touch the taj mahal you know that's such a huge huge step for me it's a huge thing in my life my third world wonder teach my world so excited for this one and it's a lot of people but we'll still make it all right and the ticket actually is valid for three hours so keep that in mind yeah and uh, another thing man that i forgot to tell you now i'm in the eastern side of the taj mahal so i was actually from that side and this is the eastern side and the amazing thing is that this mausoleum from it doesn't matter from which side you come from it has exactly the same views so you remember those pillars i was telling you that are slightly tilted in uh, one degree now this is the side view and if you see that one over there it's from the other side so when you're in that side you'll also see the very same view so you can look at it from either either view but uh, we've seen the front view the side view i don't think we can go to the back view because that's the river but we can try and see the other side also but it's such a work of symmetry it's almost done to perfection that's the world wonder but there is one small deficit that i will tell you about and uh, just keep watching the video to the end and i'll show you what the small deficit was so kish my world welcome to taj mahal <laughs> Okay guys, you gotta take some photos here. Okay. With my friend Aditya. Aditya? Yes. Okay, yeah. In Taj Mahal. Where are you from? From Kenya. Kenya. Kenya, yeah. Is your first time here? No, second time. Second time, second okay. Time. It's very beautiful. Uh, yeah. yeah. Where are you from? Uh, no, no. Mauer. In in Warranty? There is a uh, location in India. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't really know much about the locations in India. Yeah, okay, good to meet you. Thank Was it nice photo? Yes. 
Okay. All right, guys. We continue with the tour. Thank you. Thank you. Again, I always say when people ask me for a photo, I never refuse. But uh, when people say with a the camera, they are a bit shy to ask for the photo. So as soon as you put the camera down, then people come and pop. So anyways, uh, let's go and see the main mausoleum. Because that entrance of 1,100 was only for the surrounding. But if you want to come into the main mausoleum, you pay an extra 200 krona, and then you're in. You're in the cash, you're in the money. All right, let's do this. Do, I do YouTube videos. Okay, what's yeah. your YouTube channel? So guys, we have to remove shoes here and wear the, or wear the protective covers, which I have here, you know. You see, like my friend here is doing it the same, you know. Yeah. So it has to be nice and clean. But I really like that. They the should marble that. should not get uh, damaged. That yeah. is the purpose. Exactly, exactly. It's a world wonder. Okay, let me wear these things and then we continue, guys. Okay, so guys, officially we are entering into the Taj Mahal. This is the main monument, the main mausoleum. So here is where you need to have that extra ticket to get in. And as you can see, everybody has their shoe coverings. And now guys, I just want to do the first touch of the Taj Mahal. Oh, wow, my goodness. This structure is made out of pure marble, 100% pure marble. So it's really, really nice, really strong structure. And it's all these years old, like from the 1600s, man. You can imagine, just because of love, somebody built this thing here to be a tomb for him, his wife, to be buried here. And now we come and see this world wonder. My gosh, this is pure marble. So actually, if you see this when it's like full moon, it really lights up to a milky white color, you know, it's very, very beautiful. But uh, we can't see full moon because they close before, just before sunset. So yeah, Kish Mawal, welcome to Taj Mahal. Beautiful, beautiful. So guys, I am just entering in to the main mausoleum here. And uh, once you get to the main point, it's not allowed. <laughs> So once you enter the main mausoleum, it's not allowed to film or record. So this is the last part I'm going to be recording. And then I go and experience and see how it looks like. Then I'll keep you guys updated on how it looks. Wow, and the view from here is also amazing. So we have some holes here. If you... Let me show you. If you look from here, you can see the pools all the way going down there and they actually help with cooling of the place because it's a bit too hot in India. It's not even the hottest time right now, but it gets super, super hot later on. So, welcome to Taj Mahal. This is the front side of this amazing, amazing structure. My gosh, so breathless, you know, super amazing. And guys, if we look here, this is one of the pillars that I was talking about, which is slightly tinted. So this actually means that if it was to collapse, it would collapse on outward. All of them would collapse outward in case of an, any disaster so that they do not fall inwards and destroy the actual monument. And you can see here from here, you can see everybody coming in, enjoying. This is how big this place is. Very, very, very big. And you might be wondering what that structure over there and this other structure over here is. But these ones are, uh, one of them is a mosque, because you know this guy, the emperor was Muslim. So one of them is a holy mosque. And the other one is a guest house, because this is not a place to stay or live. This is actually just a monument where the queen was buried. So for some royal guests who come here, then they have a place to stay next to the Taj Mahal. But, and, they, and if you're Muslim, then they can go there and have, keep a word of prayer, you know. So, and then from the back there, we'll see the river. But first of all, I want us to go in, or rather I have to go in, and then I will tell you more about this amazing structure. Top of the morning, Kish Mawal. Welcome to Taj Mahal once again, guys. Wow, this is such a blessing, you guys. So, so, so amazing. Words can't express how much happy and joy I feel being here. And you guys are right here with me, man. So, welcome, welcome to the page. Also guys, before we go in, this is the main entrance over here. But before you go in, I have to show you something. If you look at this curve here, the way it's coming in, this structure is built in uh, the design of a honeycomb, right, right on top over here. Like it's honeycomb design, and then there's a spider web design. And this was specifically done to avoid bees and uh, spiders from creating 
uh, nest here you know they always they are very good at that so this is why it's usually made in that design just to ensure that it remains clean and natural as much as it goes and also this place is never open on fridays so don't make a mistake of coming here on a friday because it will be closed because on fridays they take time to just clean this entire place clean this area and make sure everything is looking nice and good and okay and if you buy your ticket you get free water because it's really hot in here so you don't want to go and be collapsing in here so let's go and see and one more thing i have to mention is that not only the queen is buried here but also the king is buried in here but i'll tell you that after we come back i'll tell you why it's like that so as you can see photography is prohibited inside the main mausoleum so this is as far as i can go but i'll see you when we come back out so now we are out again guys we are back out yeah as you know this is the exit side so it wasn't allowed to film in there but to be honest wow it was really nice you could actually see the tomb of the queen the main person who was meant to be buried here and also the tomb of the king who was also buried here now let me explain to you something you know the king uh, really loved this wife of his the queen and who, who was his second wife the one who gave birth to all his 14 kids and uh, the time when he also time his time came to die at pass on he also decided you know what i'm also gonna be buried here so he was buried right next to the queen and this was not actually the initial plan because if you actually look at the when you're inside there now you can't see it but when you're inside there the tomb of the woman is directly down from like if you see if you see oh i can't see it from here but the really top top point there there's like something a spike like that one when it goes all the way down it goes straight into the grave or the tomb of the queen but because it was meant for her only you know because she died in childbirth when he was being uh, when she was giving birth to his 14th child and she was only 39 years old so when the emperor also died the king when he also died he decided no i'll be buried next to my wife and that's why there's two of them his is slightly to the side you can see it's not really symmetrical and that's why he was buried there so you can imagine this person uh, he spent all this money all these resources because of the love of a woman this is what andrew kibe would call the biggest kenovia you know he's kenoviaing so much if you know if you're kenya you know what i mean but yeah this is what men do for love so this is like almost one billion dollars man in resources he spent in modern day time at that time it was like 39 million pakistani real, uh, rupees and it was built in a period of over 20 years with over 5,000 animals, you know, and 22,000 people working on this day and night. Pure marble. This marble, actually, everywhere you see is pure marble from here. It, it illuminates, it's translucent, it illuminates. And this marble everywhere, if you look at it, it was brought from uh, 300 kilometers away from here, carried all the way here, and designed for this, this amazing, spe spectacular beauty. Wow. And now, you guys, if you look at this other side, this is what I wanted to tell you guys. Look at this, this is the river. So he also had decided it will be built next to a river. And if you're on the other side, we cannot be able to go to that side right now. But if you're on the other side, you can actually see a mirror reflection of the tomb, like of the Taj Mahal into the water. Just like you can see some clouds there. You can see a mirror reflection of this entire beauty on this other side of the water so really really amazing and it was built the way it was built the foundation was very strong but even if the floods come it can withstand all of that so it's really something that's amazing and uh, this is why this is actually indeed a world wonder it's really really amazing so i am so impressed so so impressed and happy to be here so let me take some photos then i'll give you the very last hidden fact about this thing because you really need to understand this one it's very good not a lot of people know it's a secret you're lucky you're watching this channel kiss my world and so guys to wrap it all off from the wonderful uh, taj mahal i want to show you one more thing that's the deficit of this entire thing you know this thing was built in perfect symmetry perfect symmetry everything is like symmetrical from all sides all borders but there was one one small thing that makes it short of perfection and that is right here if you look at this stone this is like one of the pillars you know one of the sides you see it's like a carved one but if you look at this corner here 
if you feel this it's smooth you can't feel it but i can feel it for you it's super super smooth here and then if you come to this other side here you can see that it is a bit not smooth it has like this small edges left and everywhere you know and every other place in this pyramid they're all like this they're all symmetrical you know and this is the only point with a bit of asymmetry and this is the only part place that actually makes this Taj Mahal not to become a perfect structure because uh, let me just show you even this side this is the second side you see over here all of them have these ones the ripples if you come to where this other one also it has the ripples see but the other side is the only place where one of them is actually smooth while the rest have ripples and the reason to this was not like it was an architectural uh, mistake or dilemma but the architect who built this you know it's a it was brought from the islamic faith and they decided you know only god only allah is perfect nobody can be perfect so as much as this thing is made in perfect symmetry everything looks exactly like it should they decided that part they're gonna make it different just to show that they are not you know they're not perfect god is the only perfect person allah is the only perfect person so that's why this one was a bit different so i think it was a really really nice concept really really well done very very beautiful structure perfect symmetry everywhere you can see a lot of people just come here flocking in the millions it is estimated that around six million people come here to this structure every year to just come and see this beauty and i'm so glad to be part of these people so guys this is taj mahal and this is where i finally say goodbye for the day thank you for watching this vlog kish my world coming direct from Taj Mahal. If you enjoyed this video, be kind and give it a like, man. Comment and tell me what you thought about the experience, about my knowledge about this thing. I've been reading so much and researching so much about it because it's really, really something that blew my mind, you know. And uh, very soon I will show you a similar structure to this one that I saw in a different country, in Abu Dhabi. And you can compare the two. If you ask me, I think the other one should honestly be the world wonder because it's so magnificent, you know. Yeah, but uh, we'll, we'll have that debate later when I show you that video which is coming soon. But for now, remember to like, share, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Show some love. Enjoy this virtual tour of uh, the Taj Mahal if you can't make it here. And if you can't make it, if you come to India, always make sure, make a point to come and visit this beautiful, beautiful, amazing structure. Taj Mahal, definitely worth it. This is world wonder number three for me. So we have done the... Uh, we've done the Colosseum in Rome, Italy. We've done Chichen Itza in Kukalkan in Mexico. And now we have done the Taj Mahal in India. So where is next? Maybe Egypt to see the pyramids. And if we do Egypt, we have to do Jordan to see, you know, the Petra. And maybe we'll also go to Pichu Michu, Peru. I don't know. You guys suggest that we should go next as Kishma World, you know. And your wish is definitely my command. We will do that. So I'm so happy to see this one and I think I'll be back here again because it really gives you such a fulfillment. Top of the morning, Kishma Wal. See you next time. Like, share, subscribe and I'm out.